What kind of adventure is it if we don't explore anything? But we are exploring the caves. Well, I'm bored with the caves. Ah, <sighs> <sighs> see? This is better. <clears throat> oh, the bright circle is much brighter out here. Well, we have been in the caves longer than we have been out of them. Hey, wait for me! Do you want some help? Perhaps some help would help you. It's not too high. There you go. I've never been here before. That's the point of having an adventure. Say, this place reminds me of some place. Maybe you've been here before. Hmm, maybe. But everywhere I've been in the Great Valley, you've been too. It does not look familiar to me. No, no, no. All I see is the day in front of us. All I see is the day in front of us. Burning bright with a newborn sun. Come follow me. Hills to climb and valleys to roam. Oh, streams to follow on our way home. To the land before time. We'll be okay as long as we stick together. Right, together. So they can eat us together? I wonder where they are now. I'll check. 
Be careful. to a mean one, I mean. I thought we just came this way. That dumb old Earthshake changed everything. That Earthshake also helped us escape Thud. You have to take the good with the bad. Otherwise, you won't get to take anything. Hmm. Oh. <laughs> 
Now what did he say? He doesn't believe we're friends. Oh. Look, we're back where we started. Great, we're running in circles. That good. But Chopper and Ducky know here. We no go back. Not without our friends. <laughs> but they on high and rocky ledge. Me no know how to help them. Neither do I. But we'll find a way. That ridge that leads back towards them might help us reach them. Then let's go. But I wish I could help him. If we do, he'll just eat us sooner. He's a sharp tooth. That's what they do. You are also a sharp tooth, and that is not what you do. Oh, he sounds more herded. Well, he does have rocks on his tail. Just hold on tight, it will be all right. What if we are stuck here all night? That nasty thud gave me a fright. And he is much too big to fight. Ducky, don't be afraid. I'm sure our friends are on the way. Stay close to me and you will see. Everything will be okay. We will be Our friends will rescue us. <laughs> but they are our friends. Is that not what friends do? I guess not in the mysterious beyond. <laughs> Hey, 
This why Petrie no like adventures. Wish me not go adventuring, adventuring, adventuring. Me not go adventuring, me not be here right now. Petrie, please, you must be brave while we still have our friends to save. You know they do the same for you. Me guess that true. Now follow me, I think I know another way that we can go. You cannot reach us and then eat us. No, no, no. He said I'm too little. And he's right. If he gets loose, I'm too little to protect us. Or help us get out of here. I'm too little to do anything. You are sad about being little, but that is only on the outside. Today, you've been big enough on the inside to make me feel safe. You have, you have. Hey! <gasps> Are you all right? I am now. <laughs> oh, behind you, me see Thud! Thud! Don't worry, Thud won't hurt us. Maybe it's a different Thud? He cannot get to us, he is stuck. <laughs> Me stay away, just in case. And we will rescue you. Also just in case. That one, Spike! Big. Our friends may be littler than Red Claw, but they always help us because they are big inside. Yep, yep, yep. 
I think we will all be gladder together when we are someplace else together. Like home! Shortcut. Hmm. Well, at least I. Hey, look! I think I know that herd. I do too. It's Allie. Allie's come back. Let's go see her. I wish we had a shortcut. All I see is the day in front of us. All I see is the day in front of us. Burning bright with a newborn sun. Come fall on me. Hills to climb and valleys to roam. Oh, streams to follow all the way home. To the land before time. So, how have you been? 
You want to play tag? Swimmer and Splasher? The pointy seed game? You name it, we'll play it. Right, little foot? Right. Come on. Ellie! Hey, Ellie, aren't you coming? Hey, Ellie! Um, actually, I have a new friend I play with. That's okay. He can come, too. Uh, I don't think Red will want to. Huh? Mm -hmm. Not want to play? Who is this Rhett guy? I am Rhett. <laughs> well, I'm Sarah, and this is Littlefoot. We're Allie's old friends. Tell them. Um, Rhett is very brave, but he won't play with kids he doesn't know. That doesn't sound very brave. Oh, yeah, Little Nick. My name is Little Foot. Well, I'm Rhett the Brave. Hero of the Herd. Scarer of the Sharp Teeth. Hero of the Herd? <clears throat> Scarer of the Sharp Teeth? The ones we've seen aren't scared of flying rocks, earthshakes, or smoking mountains. Let alone Little Long Necks. Well, they're scared of me. Tell them all about your adventures, Rhett. Well, while you kids have been living here safe all the time, I've been in the mysterious beyond protecting my herd. Stay back. I'll handle this. scared of those flying rocks. Now, another time, the herd was being chased. Go on without me. I won't let them hurt you. That was a close one. <laughs> That's some tail. I know. And then there was the time I used my tail to build a mountain of rocks that the sharp teeth couldn't climb. <laughs> You haven't heard anything yet. I think we've heard enough. We've heard plenty. So, Allie, were you with Rhett when any of this stuff happened? Um, no. That happened before our herds joined up. And you really believe that he built a mountain of rocks with his tail? While being chased by sharp teeth? Oh, well, that mountain of rocks who was mostly built. But I did finish the top. See? He finished the top! Of a mountain? That's pretty hard to believe. You're just mad because you can't knock down trees with your tail. Come on, Sarah. I guess we're just not brave enough to play with Allie anymore. <laughs> Want to play rescue? Um, okay. I can't believe Allie believes those crazy stories. We were her friends. Hmm. Well, it's not fair. He can't be her best friend. I don't care. The stories he's telling are phony.
And then he said he built a mountain with his tail. Oh, Rhett brave. Me want to meet him. No, Petrie. Rhett's making stuff up and has convinced Allie he's telling the truth. Allie thinks he's so brave, and he's not. It makes me so mad. I'm angry, too. Well, the longer you're mad, the less you're happy. So, what we do? I don't know, Petrie. But we gotta find a way to show Allie the truth. Yeah. I guess I could just try telling Allie that Red is making stuff up again. But what if she does not believe you again? What if Red hit you with tail? <laughs> We need to show Allie that Rhett's not as brave as he says. Yeah, I'd like to see what Rhett would do if a real sharp tooth came around. Hmm. Wait, what if we really did have him face a real sharp tooth? You want to bring a real sharp tooth into the Great Valley? Uh, I don't know if that plan's such a good plan. My plan is to use a sharp tooth that's already here. <laughs> There's sharp tooth in Great Valley. Ooh. Yep, and he's right here. You mean me? But Chomper is nice. He is, he is. We know Chomper's nice, but you don't know that until you know him. And Allie and Rhett have never met Chomper. Right! Now, here's how it'll work. Ah! Chomper will chase us around, pretending he's a vicious sharp tooth. <laughs> then Littlefoot shows up and asks Rhett to help him save everyone. Grr, grr. But when Rhett gets scared, Allie will see he's been making up all of those stories. See? If we all pretend right, it'll work. I can pretend to be scared in. Yup, yup, yup. Oh, me good at being scared. <laughs> I'm not sure about this. Come on. On, Littlefoot, it's a great plan. What can possibly go wrong? What do you think, Chomper? It sounds kind of fun to me. As long as nobody gets hurt. Nobody will get hurt? We're all just going to be pretending. Then it sounds like I'll be pretending to have friends for dinner. For dinner, pretend to have friends for dinner. We'll say he wants three horn soup and little foot stew. It might be funny when he chew on you. That's not a very nice thing to do. To have friends for dinner, <laughs> friends for dinner. Don't wanna be friends for dinner. Don't wanna be spike up. Littlefoot, what do you say now? It probably would show Allie that Red's not so brave. <sighs> okay, let's do it. Ready? And go! Come on, guys, you're supposed to be scared. And you're supposed to be scary. <gasps> Guys, be serious. Start again. Ah, he hungry. Me scared. 
story. But one thing's for sure, we are not afraid to play with Chomper. So what do you think? Do you want to play with us? Well, sure. I guess Red isn't as brave as he says he is. Where'd he go, anyway?
Talking sharp tooth? I've never heard of such a thing. The sharp this tooth can't be that never. Me. He's a sharp tooth. Who cares if he talks? Let's get rid of him. <gasps> I suppose we must. Hold on. Wait. <laughs> <laughs> Chasing you. You were calling for help. They wanted to show me that all of Rhett's stories were made up. Stories? What stories? Um. He kept telling me that he saved his herd from many sharp teeth before we met them. Rhett, come forward. Uh, yes. Did you make up stories to fool these children? Um, um, uh, um. It's okay, Rhett. Yes, I did. I'm sorry. Little ones, this is very serious. Did you see what happened when you tried to fool each other? Yes, I guess so. You may have wanted it to be a joke, but a sharp tooth attack is no laughing matter. We're all really sorry, old one. And as for you... Uh, yes? I don't know how you became friends with so many here in the Great Valley. But I think it's good. Longnex, follow me! <laughs> we can play now. We can. We can. Me not it if we play tag. I'm too tired to be it. Hey, Rhett. Want to play tag? But I made up all my adventures. It doesn't mean we can't all have new adventures. Come on, Rhett. What are you waiting for? Ah, <laughs> uh, you guys are the best. Okay, Spike, you're it. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty neat, huh? I can't believe Ruby, Spike, and Sarah aren't here to see this. Yeah, me no believe they go to mud pools and not come with us. Come on, I saw them go this way. That sounds like hip. Ugh, me go now, me no like hip. No, Petrie, this way. Hey, wait for me. Hey guys, who's hip? And why are we running from him? 
Hip and his friends Mutt and Nod are the biggest troublemakers in the Great Valley. They can sometimes be very mean. They can, they can. They're in here somewhere. I hear them. You do not want to step on any of the eggs. Eggs? What eggs? All I see is the day in front of us. All I see is the day in front of us. Burning bright with a newborn sun. Burning bright with a newborn Come sun. Come forth. Uh, guys, those aren't just eggs. They're fast spider eggs. Fast spiders? They're sharp tooth eggs? Smash them! You can't do that! Don't touch no, them! No, Wait. no! We found the eggs, so we get to decide what to do with them. <laughs> what makes you think that what's in those eggs won't no. eat you? They haven't hatched yet. But we can't let sharp teeth eggs hatch near the Great Valley. It's too dangerous. Then let's move them as far from the Great Valley as we can. But we cannot take the eggs away from their mommy. No, no, no. What if eggs' mommy come looking for them? I know. We can get the fast spider mom to run after Petrie here. Then the rest of us will scram. <laughs> <laughs> That is a very mean idea, Hip. It is. It is. What? He can fly, can't he? Wait. Hip might be onto something. Oh, no. I am? Listen. A mom would always follow her eggs, right? So we can use the eggs to lure the mom away from the Great Valley. Make sharp tooth chases? On purpose? You gotta be crazy! <laughs> <laughs> you said it, Hip! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, crazy! <laughs> <laughs> that sharp tooth mom's gonna chase you wherever you take those eggs! That's the idea. Sounds like a bad idea to me. But you guys have fun! <laughs> <laughs> if we're going to move these eggs, we need everyone's help. If you do not help, these sharp teeth could hurt someone in the Great Valley. Maybe even you. Do you really want to take that chance? Ah, uh, where's my egg? to hide the eggs in a place just like this. There's a cave in that big mountain that should work. Okay, we'll take the eggs there. But that's really far away. That is probably a good thing. <laughs> it, 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 it moved! Is the egg hatching now? Not yet, but we don't have much time before they do. Sharp, sharp tooth. tooth! It's probably the mom coming for her eggs. She sounds like she's really close. Then we better get going. Come on. Ah! Ah! I told you she was close. Is that her? Is that the egg's mom? 
That's the mom, all right. And she wants her eggs back. Okay. Hip and I will distract her. The rest of you, head for the lake past the trees. We'll meet there. <laughs> Come on, Hip, let's go. Hey, over here. Look what we've got. Trees! We all hurry now. No time to look back. Follow me. And do not let go of the eggs. It would be very, very bad if they break. Well, I'm not sure. This idea's a good one. What if that fast spider mom were to catch us? Why don't we leave the eggs right here and run? We are too close to home to leave them here. If they should hatch, they might find a way back to the cave. We must be brave. Scared? You scared much? Well, maybe. I mean, no, I'm not scared. Right. Then let's move these eggs. I hope Littlefoot and Hip are okay. Great idea. We're trapped. Now what are we gonna do? I'll think of something. Yeah, just like you thought we should run down this canyon. Be quiet, Hip. I need to think. Here's a thought. We dump the egg and get out of here. We're not leaving the egg. Oh, yeah? Distracted her. Now's my chance. No! Stay away! No! Stay away!
just took a little teamwork. That's all. Well, we better keep this team moving. If we break into three groups, she'll have a harder time following us. It's someone else's turn to be sharp tooth bait. I'm through. Head for the canyon, past the gray meadow. Uh, you guys can lure the sharp tooth next. Good idea. We will see you at the canyon. Good luck, Chomper. Don't worry, little foot. We'll be okay. I know how sharp teeth think. It'll be fastest if we go straight across the water. Ready, Mutt? <laughs> It'll be okay. We just need something for the egg to float on. Uh, uh, we'll need something for me to float on, too. What do you mean? I'm, uh, not a very good swimmer. That's okay. I'm not the best swimmer either. Now, let's see. That should work. But if you hold on to the edge and kick, you'll be okay. Like me, see? Hey, Chompa, wait for me! I'm coming! <laughs> Oh no! The egg! I, I got it! Good job, partner! Yeah! <laughs> Good job! <laughs> Woo! We made it! Now we have to make sure the fast butter mom follows us! Maybe she can't swim either. I'll get her attention. move sharp tooth eggs it's crazy it's the right thing to do and it's helping the great valley ha we wouldn't be in this mess if you'd have listened to me instead of that sharp tooth why would i listen to you chomper might be a sharp tooth but he's my friend uh little foot and he's a lot nicer than you all you ever think about is what you want to do little foot the egg huh
She coming, she coming! Wait for us! We're trapped! on each other's backs, Chomper and I can hand the eggs up to Ducky. Couldn't carry this egg alone, could I? We're almost there. The cave I was talking about should be right across this meadow. Oh, not her again! She never gives up! Oh, she loves her eggs. She does. Enough she does. talking. Run! This is it. Over here, everyone. She won't see us here. in there. And they don't look that scary. <laughs> Most babies don't. Uh... <laughs> now they have their mommy. They do, they do. Maybe we did do the right thing. Yep. And now no one in the Great Valley has to worry about them. <laughs> yep, yep, yep. Adventuring, adventuring, adventuring. Glad we went adventuring and moved those sharp tooth eggs. To see them hatch was such a treat. Who would have thought they look so sweet? Just remember what they eat. Come on, let's go. We did 
what we set out to do. And help protect the valley, too. There is no doubt. We all helped out. <laughs> I glad we went adventuring so we could all do the right thing. And move those sharp tooth eggs away. We're glad we went adventuring. Of course. Yeah, sure. And to think, you guys wanted to just get rid of them. <laughs> there you go. Circle celebration. You know, no? She know, no! I don't know either. I'll tell you everything you need to know. Go back to your sleeping spots before Petrie tries to make you work all day. <laughs> Must work. Bright Circle need wonderful celebration so it stay all shiny more longer. Petrie, you can waste your time with the celebration, but I'm going back to my nice warm spot. Oh, Sarah Wright, me need help. Big celebration need big space all clean. Um, is there more to the celebration than clearing the clearing? Oh, yeah. We gather delicious cold time foods for everyone and have big feast. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It is much work, but it is worth it. Yes, yes, yes. Also, everyone think about what they learned since last cold time. Like me, learn this. <gasps> I know what I've learned. Look! I can hop like a hopper! <laughs> we all have great biggie fun later, but we make place ready first. I think I'm going to like this bright circle celebration. <laughs> ready, push! <laughs> We 
baking spot is getting colder and colder. This makes Bright Circle all happy. Uh, how so? Bright Circle Sea Celebration. If good, then Bright Circle stay in sky longer and longer until warm times come. The Bright Circle is watching us? Yes, Bright Circle always watching. No, it isn't. So, if the Bright Circle doesn't like the celebration, does that mean the warm times won't come? That's what Petrie thinks, but it isn't true. It's just a story. Right, Littlefoot? Huh? Well, I don't know. I just think it's fun to celebrate something that you're thankful for. Fun for some of you, maybe. To me, it just seems like a lot of work for no reason. Are we done with this tree yet? <laughs> me no done. <laughs> Push tree to fast water for bright circle. <laughs> okay, let's come Do on. It. Yep, yep, yep. <laughs> Glad to see you kids are getting an early start. There's a lot of work to do today. Maybe for some of us. Oh, beautiful day for a celebration, isn't it? Oh, yes, yeah, sure mm -hmm. it is. Hmm. Something wrong, Sarah? Why would a grown-up like you care about the bright circle? Well, there's nothing wrong with being thankful, Sarah. Me so thankful. <laughs> yeah, and I'm thankful I'm done pushing that silly tree. Hmm, I have to learn what I've learned since last cold time. <gasps> I know what I've learned it. Yes, yes, yes. I guess whatever Ducky learned is underwater. She's going awfully deep. Maybe she's trying to get underwater green food for the celebration. There's green food underwater? Yeah, but you have to hold your breath a long time to get it. Bubbles! <gasps> Yay, me! I practiced it very much since the last Bright Circle celebration. I did, I did. That was really impressive, Ducky. Well, I bet I've learned more than all of you. I learned, um... What you learned, Sarah? Tell us. Tell Bright Circle, too. Oh, forget it. Forget what, Sarah? Forget everything. I'm so sick of hearing about the Bright Circle. Why? Do you not like the Bright Circle? I like it fine. I just don't think we need a whole celebration to thank you for being there. <laughs> What's next? Am I supposed to start thanking the trees and rocks for being here too? <gasps> well, if you want to, yes, yes, yes. Well, I don't want to. The bright circle is just a ball in the sky that's going to come and go and make warm times just like always. It doesn't need a celebration. I think everyone can make up their own minds about the Bright Circle and the celebration. Then go ahead and waste your day if you want to. But I'm not helping and I'm not celebrating. Doesn't look like you think it's so good to me. <sighs> Where are Tria and Trisha? Oh, they're off on some bright circle celebration nonsense. Really? You think it's nonsense? Because that's what I think too. Of course you do. You're a three horn, like me. Life's exactly what you see. 
nothing is a mystery. A rock's a rock, a tree's a tree. It's what I call reality. Reality. I can see the world is flat. The sky is round, can't argue that. While we stand still here on the ground. The bright circle goes round. Reality. My reality. Is no mystery. Is just what you see. It's right in front of me. There's no mystery. My reality. It's plain to see reality. I think Spike knows what he can do. Yep, yep, yep. That good, Spike. What you do? <laughs> What is he doing down there? <laughs> ah! Everyone will love those tree parts at the celebration. Yup, yup, yup. <laughs> Whoa, easy there, Spike! Me think Bright Circle very proud. All right, time for us all to get back to work. But, Littlefoot, have you not learned it anything? Haven't I learned anything? Of course I have. Watch this. <laughs> hey, you sound like Spike. And I'm almost as strong as him. Mm -hmm. Here, we'll have a feast of our own while everyone else is busy with that bright circle nonsense. Hi, Topsy. Hi, Sarah. Oh, are those for the celebration? Nope, they're just for us. What do you mean? You know I think this whole celebration stuff is ridiculous. Well, the rest of the Great Valley disagrees with you. Huh. Sarah doesn't. Right, Sarah? Right, Daddy. Well, Trisha and I have been having a great time. We've helped make the clearing look pretty. And Trisha found her first sweet tree part. Ah! <laughs> uh, <clears throat> are you listening to me? Hmm? What? Oh, 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 of course I was listening. You and all the others are busy thanking something that doesn't need any thanks. Well, if you change your mind, Trisha and I will be digging up sweet roots for the celebration. No thanks. I'm staying here with Dad. Hello. <laughs> Dad, do you think Tria and Trisha are silly? No, of course not. Hmm. Oh, you worry too much. There are some things that I just know. Now, eat. Oh, maybe I've learned to like the taste of bad tasting tree parts. Mm. <coughs> oh, no, I haven't learned that. No worry, Ruby. Bright circle, very patient. Dad? Oh, yes, Sarah? Remember when Tria took me and my friends to the mud pool? Yes. And at first, I didn't want to get in, but once I did, it was kind of fun. Hmm? Well, now my 
my friends are getting ready for the celebration, and... Well, maybe it wouldn't be so bad if we help just a little bit. Well, I suppose we could go over there just to see how everyone's been getting along without us. <laughs> Thanks, Daddy. This place is looking much cleaner. Yep, yep, yep. Yep, it's just about ready for the big celebration. Hey, is that part of the celebration, too? Uh, me not think so. What was that? A fire rock. Hurry, Sarah! Circle is angry. It just means that until we get help, we're just going to have to fight this fire by ourselves. Spike, dig like you did earlier today. Chomper, use your legs to kick the dirt into the fire. Okay! <laughs> Not out yet. Mr. Threehorn? You're here too? Of course I'm here. And I'm here to help too. Drop some tree stars over here. I can cover this whole area.
he's going to eat. We need more help. <gasps> we already have it! Look! Frozen sky water! <gasps> it's beautiful! And it is slowing down the fire! It is! It is! Frozen Skywater Save Bright Circle Celebration! The fire's not out yet, Petrie! And it won't be if we just stand here gawking. Now let's go! Right, Dad! It's okay to celebrate. Hmm. <laughs> Once in a while. You're right, Sarah. It isn't that bad, is it? I know you're not one for celebrations, Topsy. But I'm awfully glad you're here. <laughs> Me too. <laughs> Me too. <laughs> oh. Me happy. Everyone here. <laughs> me feel so happy, me want everyone to see. It like the bright circle, all shiny inside of me. <laughs> Today's the day, the bright circle celebration. We all worked hard to make things just right. the day in front of us. Burning bright with a newborn sun. Burning bright with a newborn sun. 
We must find the hole and seal it up for good. Uh, meanwhile, you children should get safely home. Uh, okay. Hmm, if it weren't for you, we might not have known about that opening. Thank you. Sarah, big hero! Huh? Oh, me tell everybody Sarah, big hero! No, wait! Oh, well, whatever. Everybody! Sarah Hero! Sarah, save us from belly draggers! Amazing Sarah, scare belly draggers away! Sarah, big hero! <gasps> there she is! The hero girl! <gasps> what was that? Tree stars? But... Why are they falling? Hail the amazing three-horned girl She drove the sharp teeth all away Her mighty courage saved the day She is our hero now Who would have thought a task so big could be done by one so small. But now we know she's strong and brave. She really has it all. So hail the amazing three-horned girl. Amazing three-horned girl. girl. Tell her story near and far. Because of how impressed we are, she is our shining star. Amazing three-horned girl. Oh, hey. The amazing three-horned girl. Well, I always knew you were amazing. Hey, Longneck. 
You hear what my daughter did? Yes. I was with her this morning. She single-handedly fought off the belly draggers. Yes? <laughs> I thought you'd like to know. We blocked off the opening in the Great Wall, and there was no trace of the belly draggers. Of course not. When a three-horn chases somebody, you can bet they stay gone. Uh, right, Sarah? Uh, I hope so. I really didn't do anything special. Nonsense. You're a hero. You stood your ground while your friends just ran away. <laughs> Good thing she takes after her father. Uh, long neck. <sighs> Who came to hear about the amazing Three-Horn Girl? I would love to hear it. I did. I sure would. Tell us your story. Tell us your story. Come on, Sarah. We were just exploring out by the Great Wall. From the Speaking Rock, Sarah. And speak up, dear. Me and Littlefoot and Chomp... <laughs> Get to your part. Sorry, Dad. Okay, so, there I was, just me and the belly draggers, and... She was cornered, mind you. Right. I was cornered by the belly draggers. I, I bumped into the rock. No, no. She's just being modest. But we want to hear the real story, don't we? Me want to. It's very good story. Tell us how brave you were, Sarah. And how you drove those smelly belly draggers back into the mysterious beyond. <laughs> you heard them, Sarah. They want to hear your story. <sighs> okay. So, I was surrounded by the meanest belly draggers I ever saw. <gasps> And they were snapping at me with their big, ugly teeth. They wanted to hurt my friends. <gasps> Scary! Oh, no, no, no. Oh, yes. But I couldn't let that happen. So I, um... So I led them into a canyon. where I hatched my plan. If it is okay with you, Spike, today I would like to ride on the amazing three-horn girl. Hmm. And if it is okay with you, Sarah. Fine. <laughs> <gasps> Good idea. You'd be safe if anything bad happened during game. Uh, what would happen during the game? <sighs> Nothing's going to happen during the game. Except for my team winning! You may have been the hero yesterday, Sarah, but today you're just a regular three-horn girl. So you better be ready to play. What? We just wanted to see the amazing Three-Horn Girl. <sighs> You've seen her. Tell them the story of how you drived it away the belly draggers. Oh, yes. Tell us. Please. I just told that story yesterday. Oh, but I didn't hear it. Me neither. I want to hear it too. It good story, and Sarah's so brave. Well, I guess I was brave. And you saved the whole Great Valley from the belly draggers. It was pretty amazing, wasn't it? <sighs> Everyone knows belly draggers are scary. But I've always known how to handle them. So, when they were chasing my friends, I knew I had to stop them. I guess everywhere she goes, everyone wants to hear her story. I don't think she minds. Talking about Sarah is one of Sarah's favorite things to talk about. 
Well, I guess it's okay. She did do a good thing. And that's when I sprung my trap. I shoved the big rocks at the belly draggers and scared them all off! Belly draggers on this side, belly draggers on that side. Oh! Hello, little foot. Ruby, you must be here to listen to Sarah's story. We've already heard it. Unlike my friends, I stayed calm. <gasps> I knew I but had we to didn't stop hear him. that part. Then Shh. I headbutted spotted Belly Dragger all the way down the path. But his two friends, three of them? There were only two Belly Draggers. Well, maybe you didn't see them because you were running away. Oh. I? Oh, yes. Belly Dragger's friends showed up, and they were big, big as two tree sweet trees. I've never heard of a Belly Dragger that big. Shh. But they could tell they weren't chasing me out of my valley, so they stomped their giant feet. <laughs> then I leapt right at them and told them, You! Get out of my valley! And never to return. Yay! Anyone who wants to hear the amazing Three Horn Girls story again can come back just before the bright circle leaves the sky. Every time I hear her story, I learn new things about what happened. That's because every time she tells her story, she tells a new story. Oh, me no no belly dragger grows so big. Say, maybe that's why I can still smell belly draggers. They're so big. Huh? You can still smell them? Sure, ever since the day they chased us. No matter how big they were, you shouldn't smell them all the way from the mysterious beyond. Unless they never went back? No. Sarah chased Belly Draggers back to Mysterious Beyond. With all her stomping. If she really did do all that stomping, maybe she left footprints. We should go to the Circle of Rocks and see. Then we'll know what parts of Sarah's story are really real and what parts really aren't really real. <laughs> There's the circle of rocks. This must be place where Sarah scare off Belly Dragger. <laughs> she didn't scare their smell away. So, that no mean Belly Dragger here. <laughs> oh, that mean Belly Dragger here. Over there. Oh, that explains why I can still smell them. <gasps> Uh-oh. But she scared them away. Did you see where they're going? Yes, and that path leads home. We have to warn everybody, fast! So, Sarah not hero? I wouldn't be surprised if they've already heard about me in the mysterious beyond. Maybe they are telling the same story about the amazing three horn girl right now. But to them, it's a scary story. <laughs> Nobody messes with the amazing three horn girl. <laughs> Maybe I'll take care of Red Claw next. Belly Draggers! They're back! <gasps> They... they're back! Here? Hmm? Impossible! Didn't you hear the story? Yes, but we saw the real story with my own eyes. And Petrie's and Littlefoot's and Chompers. And we smelled it with my nose. Why can't you kids just accept that Sarah's better than you? 
She scared them off for good, and that's that. The belly draggers are too afraid of Sarah to come back. Right, Sarah? Sarah? Uh, are you sure they were belly draggers? Maybe you made a mistake. You said you scared off giant belly draggers. Well, maybe they weren't giant. But you scared them away, right? Well, well, they did run away, but I, I didn't see where they went. <laughs> In fact, uh, I didn't do anything amazing. I knocked down some rocks by accident, and, and they ran off. I didn't even chase them. That means the belly draggers are still in the Great Valley. That's what we've been trying to tell you. Is it true she lied? She's not a hero. It's a shame to think that we called her amazing. When she's really nothing more than a fraud. She kept us fooled by telling her story. Never once told anyone it was made up. Until danger arrived once again. But what should we do now that we all know the three horn girl cannot save our valley anymore? Send her away. Don't let her stay. That's three horn girl. Everyone, please calm down. We should have known better than to leave the safety of the Great Valley to our children. That's our job. And now we should find those belly draggers and drive them out for good. <laughs> You should probably stay here. I cannot believe I believed it in the amazing Three-Horn Girl. No, no, no. Why would you tell us a lie that is not true? Dad. I'm very disappointed in you. But, Dad... Not now, Sarah. I need to be alone. <sighs> it's so stupid belly draggers' fault. If they hadn't come... <sighs> now everyone's gonna be mad at me forever. Even Dad. And if they hadn't run away, I would have scared them! With a big roar! Like this! Stay away from my daughter. Huh? I said, stay away.
I told you that sounded like a three horn. Come on, everyone. Let's get rid of them for good. I'm sorry, Daddy. No, I'm sorry. I pushed you into making up that story. But I'm the one who lied. I know I shouldn't have. It just felt so good to be a hero. Oh, Sarah, you'll always be my amazing three-horn girl. <laughs> Thanks, Dad. Besides, no one messes with a three-horn. <laughs> <laughs> Sound right. Yeah, where did it go? was here. I cannot see where it goes. It is all twisty and turned it. I wonder how far it goes. Well, there's only one way to find out. Come on. <gasps> wow! Would you look at that? <laughs> this place isn't very big at all. <laughs> Me like. It's our special little hidden place. 
I've never seen this kind of tree. Hmm, <laughs> smells good. Ew! You leaf eaters sure have a strange sense of smell. I think the tree sweets smell yummy. I think they do too. I do, I do. <laughs> Your sniffers must be broken. It smells so bad it makes my head hurt. Ugh, I'm gonna go. <gasps> Wait for me, Chomper. I can't keep an eye on you if I can't see you. We'll meet up with you after we're through exploring. Hmm. <laughs> 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 Spike thinks the tree sweets taste as good as it smells. Mm -hmm. This is good. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I think I'll have another. Then another. And another. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Good times, good friends, take a look at what we found. Good times, good friends, lots of tree sweets all around. <laughs> Secret, but there aren't enough tree sweets here for everyone, so what's the use in telling them? Hmm, I guess you have a point. Of course I do. No need to make a big deal about a few hidden tree sweet trees. Oh, I eat it too much. <laughs> Ducky, Spike, I was getting worried. Where have you been? We were playing toss the seed. Then you must be very hungry. I gathered these especially for you. <laughs> oh, my favorite. times we come back, the better these tree sweets taste. I'm glad you ate so much. It doesn't smell so bad anymore. <sighs> Ugh, still doesn't smell good, though. Then we'll just have to keep eating. Right, Spike? Are you two feeling all right? You haven't been eating much lately. We have not been hungry. You and Spike not hungry? <laughs> uh, yes. All of the stop the seat playing makes us less hungry. <sighs> Mama? 
something, Spike and I should... Oh, no! It can't be! Not here! Happy oh, Biders! Oh, Happy Biders! They're here! Oh. Fast Biders in the Great Valley? and the young ones to safety. The rest of you, fall in behind me and Grandpa Longneck. <sighs> Time to show some fast biters that they're not welcome here. <sighs> hey, you, fast biters. You all know what to do. Hungry and sorry tonight. Those sneaky fast biters got clean away. Oh, we've searched everywhere. They must have found a way into the valley we don't know about. It's been a long time since any sharp teeth got into the Great Valley. This is a very dangerous development. We've seen those fast biters with Red Claw. <laughs> and Red Claw is the biggest and meanest sharp tooth of them all. So if they're here, he's not far behind. <laughs> then we need to find out how the fast biters are getting in and out. Until we know, we'll have to keep an eye out day and night. Spike, do you want this? Hmm? I I'm not hungry. <laughs> what, Spike? What, what, what? <laughs> it's another passageway. But where does this one lead? Oh, no. oh, no. There's a second way out of our hidden place, and it goes to the mysterious beyond. Uh-oh. And that's not all. Fast Biter Prince. If the Fast Biter's gotten here, then they could find their way into the Great Valley. That's how they got in last night. Oh, we leave now. Me scared. What we do now? We know how the fast spiders got into the valley. We have to warn everyone. But what if they get mad at us? I guess that's a risk we'll just have to take. <sighs> we made a big mistake. It is more than an oops eats. We've got to go. Tell everyone what we found here. Even though they will be mad at us. How were we to know? Sharp teeth could get in. It's too late now. We don't have time to argue. We must let the others know what we know.
I'll say you made a mistake. No one is supposed to eat the tree sweets in the hidden canyon. You say you saw footprints. Yeah. Fast spider footprints. Children, how much of the tree sweets did you eat? Uh, a lot. What's that got to do with anything? Those tree sweets have a smell that sharp teeth don't like. In fact, it makes them sick. I believe that. But if there aren't many tree sweets left, the smell won't stop sharp teeth from coming into the Great Valley. What? Oh, no! Grandma, you warn the others. Mr. Threehorn and I will check on the hidden canyon. At least now we know how the sharp teeth got in. <laughs> well, there are still some tree sweets up here. Well, you can hardly smell them. No wonder it didn't keep the sharp teeth away. <sighs> we'll just have to find another way to keep the sharp teeth out. <laughs> Screechy Screech! The fast fighters are back! That sounds like... <gasps> Red Claws! There's no time to get away. <laughs> Littlefoot, you and your friends go back and get help. Mr. Threehorn and I will make sure you get away. Yes, we can stop the sharp teeth, at least for a while. Now go.
thinking little ones. They can't stand the tree sweets. Yes, Littlefoot. We have to make sure there's no way for Sharp Teeth to get into the valley. We can never, ever go back to our special hidden place. No, no, no. Now that the hidden canyon has been closed off, the Great Valley is once again safe from sharp teeth. My friends and I want to apologize for putting everyone in danger. We didn't tell everyone about the tree sweets we found. We so, so sorry. Well, you should be sorry. I'm getting too old to tangle with sharp teeth. But, Daddy, you are so brave the way you fought Red Claw. Oh. Oh. Oh, well, it was nothing, really. <laughs> there I was, face to face with Red Claw. Oh. Now, the trick to fighting sharp teeth is not to let them think you're afraid. So I marched right up to that big bully and I looked him right in the eye. <laughs> 